Hi there Summoners, Guardian E here with another live reaction and first impression video for Fire Emblem Heroes. And tonight we should be getting the reveal of the next legendary slash mythic slash emblem hero <laughs> to be dropped into the game in just a couple of days. I'm not really sure what rotation we're on uh, or how they're going to actually roll out this, you know, new new rotation of different heroes. So we're just going to have to see. Got the trailer pulled up here. We're going to watch it together raw for the first time, react to who gets revealed. And, uh, and then take a closer look at their kit and everything uh, to see if it's a banner that I think is worth pulling on. So let's get started. Okay. Got the trees and new legendary. Oh, it, it is a legendary hero. Okay. I guess I guess that makes sense. Oh, it's a Leer. It's a Leer? <laughs> Engaging fire. <laughs> okay. I mean, is this the, is this the quickest we've gotten both versions of uh of a pro tag like emblems miracle bulwark four i is, is, yeah is this the first time we've gotten like both uh the male and the female versions of a pro tag like cl this close to each other <laughs> as as a legendary slash mythic hero may you find rest Oh, that's. Let me I gotta say, that's that's a pretty sick animation. Look, it's like a palm fist. Oh, it looks good. All right, there he goes. Divine one's arts just tanks that. God. All right. Interest. Oh, look! What what was that healing? It was 106 healing. These heroes also appear. Okay, so legendary or mythic Mur. We got Ninian, and we've got Goto, Hather, got Freyer, okay. Fabale, Peony, got Triandra as well, Harkin, and Golveig, and Kavasir. Okay. It's a good looking banner. That's a good looking banner. Okay. Well, we're getting a Leer, apparently, on the 28th. A Leer! Colorless, colorless dragon. Um, that's, I yeah. I mean, I wasn't expect. I I figured we would get him um soon, but uh, you know, not maybe not this quickly. <laughs> We've been getting an awful lot of engage in a row, which it feels it's weird because it feels like they're trying to catch up for lost time because there was a whole the sudden deluge of engage characters feels a little misplaced it feels like we should have gotten these kind of during the heyday um but you know it's it's better late than never i suppose and getting uh, i don't know I'm, I'm trying to play back the tapes i don't remember exactly when we got legendary female alir i want to say it was like six seven months ago but that could be wrong and maybe it was longer than that i i'm not entirely sure uh, it feels it feels sooner. It feels like it wasn't that long ago, but uh, but we're getting male Alir as a legendary hero in the game, colorless once again. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at uh, what he's got. For All right, so let's take a closer look at his kit. He has an infantry colorless dragon, uh, divine one's arts, eleven might has a killer slaying effect. Unit attacks twice. Uh, so it has a brave effect even on enemy phase. At start of combat, if unit has at least 25% HP, grants plus 5 to all stats, and inflicts uh, minus X to all stats on foe during combat, where X equals the number of distinct game titles among allies within 3 spaces of unit times 3, plus 4, max 10. So you can get a 10 point in combat debuff against all stats. Uh, and then reduces the percentage of foes non-special, so damage reduction reduction skills by 50%. Alright, so he has damage reduction reduction of 50%, and also if foes attack can trigger foes special, and units res is greater than or equal to foes res plus 5, inflict special cooldown count plus 1 on foe before foes first attack during combat. Okay, so it has the whole special rewind ability baked into it, so at a glance, killer slaying effect... Uh, brave effect on both phases, stat boosts, enemy in combat debuff, damage reduction reduction, and then uh, of course the uh, special rewind and adaptive damage. So very, very solid weapon overall. Dragon's Roar for the special. Uh, boost special damage by 40% of units res when special triggers. If unit or foe special is ready, or if units or foe special triggered before or during this combat, and also if unit's res is greater than or equal to foe's res minus 4 during combat, reduces damage from foe's next attack by 40%. 
So it does look like he has a series of res checks, so he is going to want to have a sizable res stat to accommodate that. So it does look like there's some baked in damage reduction built into his special, in addition to being a three cooldown special that is just 40% of units res. So if I had to guess, I think this is going to be an, an inheritable special but Dragon exclusive, and it's quite nice. Sizable damage, again, he has high res due to his res check uh, requirements, and so that 40% is going to hit pretty darn hard at 3 cooldown, and then getting damage reduction built in does mean that it acts as both an offensive and a defensive special uh, in a way, so that's, that's definitely nice. Alright, so Emblem's Miracle for the A slot uh, has distant counter built into it, okay, just straight up, no conditions at all, just Distant counter. Um, if unit is within three spaces of an ally, grants plus nine to all stats during combat, reduces damage from foe's first attack during combat and from AoE specials by 40%, which would include brave effects. If the number of allies within three spaces of unit is greater than or equal to three and foe initiates combat, if unit's HP is greater than one and foe would reduce unit's HP to zero during combat, unit survives with one HP. Okay, he has a miracle effect, which we did see in full force uh, during the little combat animation demonstration. And after combat restores 99% uh, HP to unit, effective only triggers if players team once per map. Alright, well, Emblem's Miracle, appropriately named Miracle. Uh, <laughs> there's a miracle effect as well as a full health restoration. There's distant counter, stat boosts, damage reduction. Um, yeah, there's uh, there's a lot to like. There's a lot to like about this ability. It, it really does bolster um, Alir's capabilities and um, and does make him kind of a menace, at least from a defensive standpoint. Uh, speed res bulwark 4 for the B slot. Uh, melee foes cannot move through spaces adjacent to unit, and ranged foes cannot move through spaces within two spaces of unit. Uh, does not affect foes with pass skills. Inflict speed res minus 4 on foe. Reduces damage from foes. First attack by 40% during combat. Uh, blah, 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 okay, and restore 7 HP to unit after combat. So that that's why he ended up restoring um, 106 HP, because obviously um, the after combat healing from this, in addition to the healing after the miracle effect, is 106. So, uh, so yeah, um, the stat debuffs in combat debuffs are nice. The damage reduction from Bulwark is going to stack with the damage reduction built in from Emblem's Miracle, which is going to be sizable, and again, it is going to affect Brave units as well, or both both two hits of a brave unit. Uh, yeah, so that is going to be ridiculously tanky. Again, he's also going to be colorless, which means that he doesn't have any color advantage against him, more or less. Uh, so that's going to help him just have overall neutral, uh, to take neutral damage against everybody. Um, attack speed pledge for the C slot. At start of turn, if unit is within two space of an ally, grants attack speed plus six and special cooldown charge plus one to unit per attack during combat to unit for one turn. If unit is within two spaces of an ally, grants attack speed plus three to unit during combat. So getting some offensive capability built in as well, uh, in addition to the significant res stat. So does look like he's going to be pretty speedy, in addition to being pretty darn tanky. Uh, sounds pretty obnoxious. <laughs> I, 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 he's got at least three skills that stack together that provide him damage reduction. So he's going to have really high damage reduction built in. He's going to have his own damage reduction penetration on his own skills and attacks. Um, with adaptive damage and the brave effect, the proccing of the special that scales off of his significant res. Um, and then he's going to have, uh, you know, additional special charge available to him. He's going to have special rewind on the enemy which is going to prevent a lot of effects out there that um, nullify damage reduction as a whole are tied to specials. So the ability to rewind those is especially potent on a character that has a lot of stacked and stacked variations of damage reduction. And even that notwithstanding, some of the damage reduction is built into his special, which has, of course, um, you know, it's, it's harder to nullify damage reduction that's based around a special because, or even reduce damage that's based around a special. Uh, so yeah, he's gonna be super tanky, he's gonna hit very hard when he retaliates, he's gonna proc that special, um, and it's gonna hurt. And then even if he ends up taking a ton of damage to reduce his health to zero, uh, he's gonna be hunky-dory right after, he's gonna restore himself straight up to full health, no problem. Um, he can trigger his special twice during combat, counter ranged foes, and survive a deadly blow once. Yeah, so... He's going to proc a special defensively. 
It's going to reduce damage. Then that's going to allow him to retaliate with Dragon's Roar. And then he's going to hit twice. Proc is special again. Oh, man. Oh, boy. That's something else. So he's got 13 HP here. He takes the, the fixed damage. Then gets knocked out. Survives with 1 HP. Retaliates. Bam. There it goes. Golveig goes down. Okay, so needless to say, Colorless is stacked. You've got Alir, you've got Goto, and you've got Golveig. Those three are absolute monsters. All three of them are. Um, they've got great fodder as well, particularly Golveig, and um, certainly I think Alir, uh, in the capacity that you want to inherit um, his special, which I, I think is going to be inheritable, if I had to guess once again. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be quite a stacked color right there. All right, so green we've got Hather, we've got Ninian, and we've got Attuned Peony. So all three amazing support units. All three are limited. Uh, it's a very very high value color as well. It's it's very close to colorless at least in terms of utility and what it offers and provides. I, I suppose at least for attuned peony and hather everybody had the opportunity to spark for them, so there is that. Um, but once again, I, they're just really good units, really good units on that color. Uh, and then for red, red we've got triandra, so rearmed triandra. Uh, we've got Harkin, and we've got Kvasir. Harkin is okay, Harkin is fine, but, but he's certainly not limited, and I certainly don't think he has the same value that Triandra or Kvasir do. do. So uh, that, that certainly takes a hit, um, I would say, on the red side of things. All right, and finally, we've got Blue with uh, Mythic Myr, we've got Freyr, and we've got Fabale. So... I think probably in the same ballpark as red, um, not definitely not up to the same, uh, I think, standard as colorless and green on this one. I think there is a pretty heavy divide there. So I would say that colorless and green are definitely the, the shining colors of the banner. The other two are similarly situated uh, below those. Um, and overall, I would say that, honestly, if you don't have the green units, uh, they're very good to go for. And all of the colorless units are also extremely good to go for as well. So there's high value, at least in those two colors. Uh, so once again, starting on the 28th of February, Legendary Hero Alir Engaging Fire Colorless Infantry Dragon. Uh, for me personally, I am tempted to go in on colorless just because it's so high value. And I would really appreciate getting additional copies of Golveig. Um... That being said, and I don't have Goto, and obviously I don't have a Leer, so th there, there's a lot to like about that color here. That being said, I'm not entirely sure. I might just stick to the f first full circle. I I'm not committed to summoning on this one, but let me know in the comments below if, if you're excited for Legendary Male Alir, uh, if you called this one. Uh, let me know if you're going to be summoning, and best of luck to you if you are, who your targets are going to be, what colors you're going to be going for. Uh, hopefully you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to leave us a like, comment, subscribe to the channel for more Fire Emblem Heroes content. We thank you all so much for watching, for taking time out of your day to spend with us. We really do appreciate it. And until next time, let's predict those skies.